Hey everyone, it's Rose Crystal and I'm back with another episode of Zero Escape. Nine hours, nine persons, nine doors. Before we get into today's episode, I got a couple announcements to make. Um, I gotta say, the reason I'm not making a whole lot of videos, despite being on summer vacation now, is because, well, I'm gonna be straight up honest with you guys. Lately, since... April 17th, I've been running into copyright claims for a old series I used to do on the channel. Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. I... it was probably for the soundtrack. I'm not sure why it was claimed, but I looked into it some more and it realized it maybe was the soundtrack for the game. Now, it doesn't mean I didn't do anything about it. I've been spending the last couple of days, weeks, Maybe near the end of the month. Okay. I've been spending the last few weeks putting in credit for each playlist. Every single playlist for the Danganronpa series. For Trigger Happy Havoc, Goodbye Despair, and V3. Even though V3 and Goodbye Despair have not been attacked as of recently. And I've been watching my uh, Gmail like a hawk ever since then. No recent claims, so I'm hoping whatever I did was the right thing to do, and if not, at least I tried. At least I did something. So if Spike is watching this, I did what I could. I just did. With the materials that were provided to me. And that leads me into the second announcement I want to make. Zero Escape, Nine Hours, Nine Persons, Nine Doors is part of a trilogy of the Zero Escape series. The next game up is Virtue's Last Reward. Normally, I would, without a doubt, play it on the channel for you guys, considering I've never played it. But after the copyright claims, I really do not want to draw more attention to myself when it comes to this stuff. And naturally, I think I'd feel a lot safer if I played it off the channel. So for those expecting a playthrough on Virtue's Last Reward, I'm really sorry, but I don't want to draw any more attention to myself than I need to. So what I'm going to do is finish this franchise, finish this game like planned. I'm not going to leave you guys hanging in the middle halfway through. I'll finish this, but then Virtue's Last Reward will be played off camera. Again, I'm really sorry for those expecting a Virtue's Last Reward playthrough. It's just not going to happen. I think it's much better for right now if this is the last game I play with Spike. Uh, with the company with Spike Junisoft. Anyway, with those announcements aside, last time we went into the seventh door out of the three, seven, and eight doors, and we went through our first escape room, an operation, a operation room. So now we're going to go through the second escape room of the seventh door. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. <laughs> There too, huh? Every door in this place is locked up tight. How about that one? May as well give it a try. Jumpy! Huh? Wait. June? Wait, wait, what? Ho oh, hold up. And Santa. And Lotus too. We met up with them? Whoa! What the hell is this? What are you doing here? I don't know, but the last time we ran into Lotus, she slapped us. So I guess this is kind of good news. What? But we didn't... Hey guys! Could you come take a look at this? Look on the wall here. A map of the ship's interior? It says Sea Deck. Okay, so this does change. So it's the map for this floor then? Door 7 and... Door 8. Yep, they both eventually end up at this hallway. So that does... So we do end up together. Yeah, we do. Holy heck. Yeah, isn't that what I said? We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door 9. Well, yeah, that too, but I'm still surprised to see them. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door 9. And that's how the nonary game works. I see. Wait a sec. Hey, could this lead to... Oh! You've got to be kidding me. It leads right to the hospital room. We may as well go. Yeah. Oh, I uh, almost forgot. We should keep this. Ready? I'm gonna open it. Wait, keep what? 
Oh, the map. Right, the map. I'm blanking today. I knew it. We're back. Yep, right back where we started. In the hospital room. So no matter what, three and seven now lead that way. But does eight lead that same way? That's what I want to know. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. The six of you split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. You solved the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory. So we would have gone into a laboratory at eight. Okay. And then met one another in the hallway after opening your respective locked doors. At any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. Yeah. I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. Well, we saw each other again and we ain't dead, so I say that's good enough. Anyway, I say we get out of this creepy old place. We found the key we need. Uh, the key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. Right, Junpei? Yeah. Oh, the solar system keys. Actually, we found one in the laboratory, too. Here, the Earth key. So we would have found the Earth key in the respective room, okay. I might lose it. It's probably better if you hold on to it. That way it won't be my fault if it gets lost. Shut up, Lewis. Yeah, on it. Now we have three keys that we haven't used yet. Yeah. The Jupiter key that we found in the operating room. The Saturn key card we found in the kitchen. And the Earth key Lotus just gave me. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? Yeah. If the map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. Then, next to the stairs... Wait! What? What about door three? Oh, you do not want to go in there. You do not want to go in there. Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as seven and eight. Just lead us back to the big hospital room. Okay, so all three doors do that. Right. I just wanted to make sure again. We're still gonna go through door eight, even though we know we now know it's behind door eight. Because the game literally will lock you out of the true ending if you don't get all the endings. It will. That's what my brother told me. So for those who think, oh I can avoid door eight now because we know it's behind it, that's not a smart idea. For those who want to get through all the endings. There's no point to seeing what's on the other side of that door. There is a point! At least there is for me! You do not want to go behind there, trust me. Yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. Snake might be on the other side of door three. Very well, I'll be coming with you then. I've had a nice long rest. I think it's time I was up and about again. So Seven, you'll help me, won't you? Huh? Me? Damn. Well, I guess that's how it's gotta be. So these three are not gonna join us for any episodes, at least for now. So I'm going with you, huh? Yes, you are. All right, let's get moving. Okay, we're heading out. Be careful. Whoa. Didn't think I'd be hearing that from you, Lotus. <laughs> they are. Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. The rest of us can't open the nine door. Ah, the truth comes out. Indeed. Okay, we're off. See you. All right, we should get moving too. Huh? Get moving? Where are we going? Well, it would be a waste of time to just sit around, wouldn't it? Let me explain. Oh, I get it. We're going to see if we can get anywhere interesting with the Jupiter key. Exactly. Yes. If we're lucky, we might find Snake. Trust me. And here's the Jupiter symbol on the keyhole. They already found Snake. All right, Junpei, open it if you please. And I'm sorry for being so depressing all the time, but we all know what happened to Snake at this point. I love to hold on to blind hope, but when you literally saw what, see what happened to him, you can't really hold on to blind hope anymore. Yeah, on it. Great, back to the beginning. You sure this is a good idea? What do you mean? Well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? I'm asking you if there's any reason we came back here. Of course there's a reason. Of course there's a reason. Man, sometimes I can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. Huh? This. Because of the Saturn. The Saturn key card. Exactly. I mean, it's the one thing we haven't used, and I believe, if I'm right, 
we used the Saturn key card to go into door two, which was what which is what we did with uh uh Lotus and uh Seven. So where are we going this time? Because we have different people. So door eight would be the middle route. We did door two last time, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, the, the third door. Or you, you know what I mean. We went down the second door. And the Earth key? Yeah, there's an Earth symbol here, and I know it is. It is definitely... It's not in this room specifically, but it's definitely on one of the lower decks. I'm lost. Don't you remember, Santa? On C deck, where we are now, there was a big elevator behind the stairs, remember? And next to the elevator, there was a card reader with the Saturn symbol on it. And on A deck, on the door to the left, there was a keyhole with the Earth symbol on it, I think. So the two keys that Jumpy has should let us use the elevator and the door on A deck. Huh. Exactly. Yes, that's right. All right, I got it. Let's get started then. What do you say we split into two teams? Lotus and I will search the Earth one, so you two can search Saturn, all right? Sounds good. Then you guys should take this key. We have no idea what's on the other side of these, so don't go too far. Just search for ten minutes and come back. There's a card reader next to the left elevator. Then let's try out the Saturn key card. The music in the back makes it seem like there might be an ending coming up, but I literally just checked the flowchart. We don't have an ending for a while. They're at the bottom, just like the submarine ending was, so... It's gotta oh. be another escape room. Great! It looks like it's working now! I swear we were already in this escape room before, but maybe I'm wrong. Alright, now how do I call the elevator? Press the button. Oh, it only has the upside-down triangle on it. <sighs> I guess there's no up button. Well, we may as well try pushing this one. Look, Jumpy! Oh, sweet! It opened! Let's get going! W w wait What's up? What? Uh, I'm not really, uh... I just... Uh, oh, gosh. Are you okay? She was probably afraid of... They could only go down to where the water is. <sighs> Come to think of it, the lower floor... D-deck is completely underwater. An elevator heading to a submerged floor. That is pretty scary. Hey, wait a minute. This elevator came up from somewhere under us, right? Um, well, yes, I guess it did. It didn't open right away after you pressed the button. There was a motor noise, like it was moving, and then it opened. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So, take a look inside. <laughs> it's not wet at all, is it? The walls and even the floor are totally dry. Oh. You're right. They are. And besides, I don't think Zero would, like, operate this whole game only to send us down to a submerged floor. You know, it would kind of defeat the purpose if they all ended up dead. Well, let's test it. Test it? Yeah, watch this. Now, I'll just put one foot inside the elevator and look over at the buttons. Oh, there's only two. E and C. All right, I'll push E. I think I can hear it opening on E-Deck. Okay, that's done. Now I'll just press the button again. Yep, not a single drop of water to be seen. Alright, I- you guys can't lie that you were legitimately expecting a jump scare at the- um, at the second time it came up, right? See? What does that mean? How can E-Deck be safe if the D-Deck is full of water? Well, here's what I think. The elevator shaft and E-Deck must be watertight and separated from wherever the ship's been punctured. That's what I was thinking, too. Here, uh, let me show you. I see. So is that why the ship hasn't sunk? The shape of the inside keeps it all from filling with water? Uh-huh. Yeah, I think that's what's going on. So I'm gonna go down and check it out. You stay here, all right? Um, but... Come on, just do it, all right? I I'm coming with you! Huh? Hey, wait! June, 
Gosh dang it. I mean, I know it's... Oh, crap. It closed. I mean, I know it's dangerous to go alone, but... You know... Come on, June. I can't just let you go alone, you know? Ah, jeez. I mean, she is kind of right. Now. Looks normal. Are you okay? I'll knock it off. It's just like I thought. This part hasn't flooded. Come on, just look around. There's no water here. <sighs> oh, <laughs> she just popped up on screen for me. You're right. It's not flooded at all. <laughs> See? But there's a whole lot of water. Yeah, right on top of us. What's gonna happen if the ceiling breaks? Uh, small spoiler alert, not good. We'd probably die. Yeah, that. Oh no, don't be so casual about something like that. Yeah, well, I mean, we've seen a lot of things that we shouldn't be casual about already, June, so... Can you blame him for cracking a small joke after all this? At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can, once we're done looking around down here. Lotus and Santa might already be back. Okay, good idea. Now then... Iron bars. Well, we can't go over there. Right. Then maybe... Well, oh, it looks like there's a long straight hallway down this way. There's the sixth door. Something's written on the door at the end. Wait, is that? Let's check. I knew it. This is a numbered door. Yep. But we can't do anything with only the two of us. We better head back and let everyone know. Yes. Indeed. Wait, what's this? What's what? Is this the map for Edek? I should take it with me. Absolutely. Huh. So you guys found door one. So now we've located two new doors. The six door and the one door. You know, it is interesting that E-Deck wasn't flooded. Well, we don't really know if all of E-Deck is safe. We only checked the area around the elevator. Yeah, even so, it's still very interesting. You said the six door was there, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Then that means Zero planned all this out. Even the sinking. Well, I would assume he did. That would have meant some pretty serious remodeling of the ship's interior. It's pretty mind-blowing when you think about it. Yeah, I wonder how long it took. I can't even imagine how much it must have cost. It would have been a ton, that's for sure. While that does go along with what Ace was saying, the most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by some organization with access to a whole lot of cash. Yeah, that really does make the most sense, and... The whole thing about Zero being one of us, we could be one of the lackeys for an organization, for all you know. I swear, if I just foreshadowed the correct answer, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> you know, I mean, I've played a lot of games like this, not like Zero Escape specifically, but... Y you know I've played Dongan on the channel, so... Organizations uh, putting together games like this, it hasn't been totally uncalled for. I don't know why I'm ranting about this of all things, but considering we just bought up the organization thing again, I might as well say it. Yes, it does make sense. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. What's up? Hmm. Um. Yeah? Um, I don't think it's a very good idea to stay here. Yeah, you're right. Ace and his team might be back already. Well, June, Junpei, and I should be able to open door one. Huh? You guys leaving me behind? Just kidding. <laughs> all right, let's go. Are we all gonna do a number door together? Because we can't. The rules prohibit it. Hey! Where the hell did you guys go? Sorry? I mean, we went to go find new doors. Seven? Hmm. Yeah, they found uh, what I told them not to go find out, did they? Um. Yeah. What's wrong? What happened? You found Snake. What the hell kind of question is that? Snake was... Snake is... Snake is... dead. He died, just as the ninth man did. Yeah, we didn't know... Junpei didn't know that in this playthrough, but I did. So that's exactly why we don't go down door three. Oh my god. That's not true, is it? Do you really think they'd be lying about something like that? <sighs> We should make sure. No, we don't have time. Yeah, right. We should. Guys, we literally have a dwindling time limit. Wait! Not that way. What? Why not? I stuck a screwdriver in there to keep the door from closing all the way. It's not locked, so you can go in that way. Uh, where is, uh... 
Where is he? The shower room. On the left side of the hallway. I put a broom in there too to keep the door open. That means we can get in without going through the numbered door, right? Yeah, that's right. Then let's go. If you want to confirm... This wasn't open when we passed here before. Well, let's keep going. Oh, it smells horrible. Ugh, yeah. This is pretty awful. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Uh, ooh. Mm. Yeah, so we see the consequences of door three no matter what. Oh, hmm. Where is he? Where's Snake? There. June, you should stay here. Yeah. But... Please, just do me a favor, okay? All right? I'm going in. Uh. Yeah. Just like he said, just like the ninth man, the detonator in his bracelet set off the bomb in his gut. Why do you guys want to expose yourself to such horror? I mean, I know I said we've seen a lot of things like this, but... Again, can't you just believe him when he says he's dead? Oh god, the the bone is coming out of his left arm. It's definitely an open fracture. That's way more than an open fracture, I'll tell you that much. Oh, the face. It's horrible. Then look away. Yeah, you can't even tell who it is. I'm just glad they censored that, because there's no way I would have been able to show this. Uh, but the clothes are... No mistake about it. It's Snake. Yeah. Not the sight you want to see. <laughs> Snake was probably murdered. Chances are he was killed the same way the Ninth Man was. It's pretty straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open door three. Then they shoved him into it. Alone. And waited nine seconds for the door to shut. Once that door shut, it was all over for Snake. But he didn't give up. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good, but he probably ran into the shower room looking for the dead. It was a small chance, but it wasn't like he had anything to lose. Unfortunately, it didn't work. The detonator is only deactivated if everybody who authenticated when they went in uses the dead. Snake was the only one who went through the door, and then 81 seconds after he was shoved in, that happened. I see. So that's what you meant by killers, huh? You need at least three people to open one of the numbered doors, including Snake. It wouldn't open for Snake and a single killer. Yeah, that means we're looking at multiple perps here. Well, just in case, I want to make sure. Let's say you're right. When do you think Snake was killed? When we all split up to look for the parts for the Reds, I think. That seems most likely. Right after that was when we noticed he was gone. Then that means none of us have alibis. That means any one of us could be murderers. We were all off searching the rooms we'd been assigned, looking for those parts. Yeah, that means anybody could be a killer. W wait a minute! What are you talking about? How can you say that so casually? What else do you want to say? That he's lying? I mean, he's not. If he died around the time we all searched for the red parts, neither of us can... Neither of us can back up each other's stories, because we were all alone. You're implying that one of us is a killer! Well, not just one of us. If I'm right, then at least two of us are murderers. Why don't you calm down a bit, Seven? What are you going to gain by being so suspicious? That's what Zero wants, you know? What Zero wants? Exactly. This game was set up by Zero, wasn't it? Any game has a winner and loser. Whoever makes it through door nine is a winner. And those who don't are the losers. Zero is trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. Then you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other? Exactly. Yes, that is why we can't let ourselves fall prey to suspicion. We have to trust one another and form a strong bond of friendship. Otherwise, we'll end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations. Then does that mean that the person who killed Snake... Yes. Almost certainly Zero himself. But then who is the second person? If there's anyone we should doubt, it should be Zero. I know you want to think that way, but you just said it won't open up for a snake or a single, and a single killer. It'll be a second person, so if anything, either Zero has the authority to open up all the number of doors by himself, which is likely, or he got an accomplice to help him out. He masterminded this game. 
and kidnapped all of us. Doesn't it seem reasonable that he would have killed Snake as well? Hmm, good question. If Zero killed Snake, then Zero is on the ship with us. Of course, I mean, that's... It's, he wouldn't be able to talk to us, do announcements, if he wasn't. But I don't... Where could Zero be hiding? I think... I think Zero is one of us. It, that's always a possibility. Hmm. Well, that's possible. So what did I pick before? Huh? Like Clover said, Zero might be one of us. What are you saying, Jumpy? I mean, you can't. It's always a possibility. I mean, sure, he doesn't have to do anything. The puzzles are all automatic, and we know that from the last playthrough. So, he doesn't have to do anything. He doesn't have to activate them, meaning he could simply walk among us, and we'd be none the wiser. Didn't you hear what Ace said? Exactly. I said we shouldn't suspect one another for no reason. But Clover's right. I mean, Zero could potentially be one of us. No reason. I've got a great reason. And what's that? The bracelets. Why are the bombs in our bodies connected to the bracelets? You're all thinking Zero's hiding somewhere watching us, right? If he's doing that, then he could just detonate the bombs by remote control if someone did something they weren't supposed to. It would be a lot more precise and a lot easier. But if that's the case, then why is the bomb set off by the detonator in the bracelet? Huh. You got a point. I'm not done. Try applying the same ideas to the Nonary game. All of the puzzles here run all by themselves. In other words, Zero doesn't have to be controlling them for the game to move forward. Exactly. Like I said, he could be walking among us and we'd be none the wiser. Why is that? Why would Zero bother to do something like that? So let's say you and Clover are right. Zero's one of us. If that's the case, then it'd be really hard for him to keep track of all of us or control anything remotely. That's why all the puzzles run by themselves. That's what you're getting at, right? Yeah. Seven, when we were talking earlier, you said any one of us could be Snake's killer, right? Yeah, something like that. All right, then. I've got a question for you, Ace. You said something like Zero must be the one who killed Snake, right? Yes, something like that. I can't think of any other explanation. So what do we get if we combine those? They fit together pretty well, I think. Something like this. Whoever killed Snake is Zero. Hence, Zero is one of us. Seven and Ace's theories aren't mutually exclusive. They actually complement each other pretty well. At least they do if Zero is one of us. What were his motives? His motives? Yes. Isn't that pretty important? Why would Zero want to hide as one of us? Because if he just walked out with a gas mask and a black cloak, he'd be like, everybody would be either running for their lives or confronting him. So hiding him, hiding as one of us, makes it, one, pretty easy to infiltrate among the group, and nobody panics because they don't know. Oh, well, that's because, um, I don't know. Well, so much for making a persuasive argument, Junpei. Do you expect us to know the answer? In other words, you only had circumstantial evidence. I don't really think that's enough to go on, you know? Ah. <sighs> It's three in the morning. That means we have three hours left. Then we need to move now. Seven, Clover, Junpei, I know how you feel. But you do understand that right now it's important we trust one another, don't you? You're right, but... Since this has led to the same scene anyway, I think I'm going to go a little farther in this episode. Because we've all seen this scene before. So, let's go a little bit farther. We must go. We have very little time left. Our next destination is... Mercury. But maybe you and June should check it out first and then report back to us. All right, let's go, June. Right. Here it is. The Mercury card reader. We're using the card Seven gave us, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
I found it when we were checking out the shower room. I think Seven said something like that. Anyway, let's see what happens. I guess the elevator works now. Jumpy, I know it's only the two of us, but let's do our best. What's with you all of a sudden? Well, we kind of have to even have no other enthusiasm Well, at all. I'm happy we were put together. Of course we are. Uh, you know it's just for searching E-Deck, right? Even so, I'm glad I'm with you. Oh, first we need to find out if the elevator comes up full of water. Alright, where are we going? Okay. So we're continuing to go down. We have a choice to make at the end here for whatever this happens to be in the middle. And we go with the little, we go to the right, we go to another scene, and to here. So we can find the rooms. Or we can pick a choice and go through another numbered door and go down another ending. Regardless, again, I'm gonna be hitting every ending because we've been doing so good so far going down the flow chart. So whatever choice you make here for the escape room, we go down left or right. Oh, just like we did before. Yep. Oh, here it is. I knew it. It's not wet at all. Let's go. Yes. Let's do this. Look! Nearly all of the buttons are destroyed. Yeah, only the C and bottom button can be pushed. We're on C deck right now, so the only one we can choose is bottom. Yeah. Well, let's try it out. I mean, we're not expecting an ending at this point, considering we're in the middle of the flow chart. So to expect an ending oh, now... So this is the bottom deck. But not... I mean, I checked the flow chart, and we know the endings are at the bottom of the flow chart, so to expect an ending now is... Hey, over there! Okay. This is a numbered door. This is the eighth one we found. There were two numbered doors on B deck near the central staircase. They were doors four and five. Three more in the large hospital room. Doors three, seven, and eight. And the door we found on E deck, and the door Lotus and Santa found on A deck. It was a six on the door on E deck, and a one on the door on A deck. That means... Do you think... The next door we find? It's the ninth door, exactly. Yeah, I think so. The next one's gonna be door nine. Finally! Yeah. You don't look very happy about it, though. Well, not all of us are gonna make it. It's not that. I just hope nothing goes wrong. Yeah. You're right. We should keep our fingers crossed. Let's head back. Yes. Okay. Let's go. One, two, three, four. All right, seven pieces. Just Whoa. double checking, but everyone wrote their code name and a door number they want, right? Okay, so that's how we solve it. Yes, just like you told us earlier. <sighs> Can't believe we're voting here. Well, I mean, what else do you want to do? We need to make the whole thing fair, blah de blah This is a complicated plan, you know. Hurry it up, Mr. I have a brilliant idea. I am trying my gosh dang best. Yeah, yeah, quiet in the peanut gallery. All right, let's open these up. The first one says, Ace Request Door 1. Yes, I do. Would you like me to explain why? No, we don't have time for that. Sorry. Let's keep going. Yeah, we need to do this quickly. Next is Santa. He wants door six. Yeah, that's what I wrote. Clover wants one, Lotus wants two, and Seven also wants two. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, there is no way I'm going anywhere with the Elephant Man. Come on. No, there'd be no point to the voting if we let people change their choices because of stuff like that. But... Just give it up, Lotus. No buts. We don't have time for arguing. It's not like I want to hang out with some exhibitionist grandma. Oof. I'm gonna get out of here before I get killed again. I am not an exhibitionist. I'm wearing clothes. You are, are you? Doesn't look like it to me. Barely. Thank you, Seven. So, last I checked, that's not a crime. No, it's not. But at the same time, you could stand to wear a little more clothing. Maybe. But what about common decency? Indeed, common decency, thank you. Nobody wants to have to look at a chick who looks like a half-naked raisin. Ugh! I am s Seven, you are going... You are so close to death right now, it is not even funny. Oh, I'm gonna kill you! Exactly my point. Oh, not good. No, it's not. Ace, please. Let go! Let go of me! I'm killing him! I wish I could say Lotus was in the right, but at the same time, if we kill each other now, we're not going to be able to go through any more numbered doors. So, Lotus, 
I'm like half on your side right now, but at the same time I'm not, because we have to get out of here. Junpei, read the rest. Please. Uh, right. June wants door six. I can just imagine um, when Ace is like, June, I read the rest. He's like holding Lotus back with all of his strength right now. He's like, read the rest, read the rest. Yes, I don't really have a reason. I just felt like it. So this was everyone's vote. Ace and Clover requested door one. <laughs> I don't know why I went off in a tangent there. But it's like the first time I actually broke out into laughter on this franchise and I love it. <laughs> I love it, it's when, it's when Lotus loses her cool is when I start laughing. Seven and Lotus requested door two. Santa and June requested door six. Then the door I should choose is... Okay, the last one is mine. I want to go through. Okay, so what we have... Oh, dang, I can't... We haven't gone through many of these doors, have we? I mean, we've gone through, uh... Dang you! I was hoping to look at the doors I've already gone through. I think I want to go through door six. I want to go through door six. Hopefully that's not a bad choice in the eyes of the group. So yeah, one, two, and six. One, six, and two. That's a problem. Why? None of these teams will be able to go through the doors they want. Clover and I chose door one. Lotus and I chose door two. That's not enough people to open a numbered door, however. The digital routes don't match up either. We've got similar problems. June, Junpei, and I want to go through door six, but our digital route is five. If we're going to open that door, we need a one. So Ace has to be subtracted. Damn, what are we going to do now? <sighs> what are we going to do? Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> I don't know, man. I was just checking to see the digital routes, but if I had access to the menu, I would have been able to figure it out. Why don't Seven and Lotus go through door one? With me. <sighs> I mean, that could work. What about me? Isn't that obvious? Wasn't one of the teams just complaining that they didn't have a one? You mean I should join Santa's team? Yes. Huh. I understand. I'll go through door six then. So door two is not an option right now. If we do as Clover has suggested, we can all pass through a numbered door and no one will be left behind. So door two is not an option at the moment. This seems to be the most reasonable solution. Seven, Lotus, what do you guys think? I don't have a problem with it. Me either. All right then, we're good to go. See you later. See you, Clover. Wait, Clover, don't move on your own. Oh, I'll be going too then. Yeah, be careful. We should get going as well. This is E-Deck. There should be a door at the end of the hall. Alright, so we're going to be ending this episode here. So if you guys want to see what happens at door 6 as soon as possible, please give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.